Now we're going to take a little bit of a look at some of the images you're going to be using on part three of our lab 10 on the dynamic sun, where we're looking at different views of the sun. And all of these images come from the SDO mission, the Solar Dynamics Observatory. The one that we've got up here right now is what we're calling our visible image. And it's similar to what you would see with the eyes if we could just reduce the brightness of the sun. There's a lot more science that goes into it than that, but you are seeing the photosphere or the visible surface of the sun. There's always a little bit of what we call limb darkening on the edges where it's a little bit darker. But when we talk about dark spots, we're really talking about things like sunspots. Now you're going to be looking at a different set of images than these ones. This is just to give you an idea of what to look for. After you're done looking at the visible image, we're going to flip over to the near UV image. And on this particular one, we're still seeing the surface of the sun, but we're not seeing it in visible light. We're seeing it in ultraviolet light. Areas that are not quite as hot won't put out quite as much ultraviolet light, and they'll look a little bit darker. Areas that are a little bit warmer are going to have a little bit of a lighter each region. I can zoom in on this one so you can see it a little bit more carefully. After we're done looking at the near UV, we're going to switch over to the far UV, which is a higher energy light. And it's primarily showing us the chromosphere or the gas which is above the visible surface of the sun. And there's lots of different features and structures in there. Now areas where it's brighter, including this spot here and a few edges, uh, areas on the edges, are what we call the active regions. And that's where you're getting more of the high energy light out because something's going on in those regions. Again, you'll have a different set of images that have a little bit more activity than this one. And you're going to use those to answer some questions. The last image we're going to be taking a look at, and it's not the last one SDO has available, we're just focusing in on these four, it's the magnetogram. Now as it explains in the lab manual, this isn't a light image. They use some other techniques to actually measure the magnetic fields. Whereas gray is sort of um, the neutral magnetic field, where it's black or white, tells you where the magnetic field comes out and where it goes back in. And most of the time they actually have these loops where it comes out at the black and goes back in where it's white. So you'll often see regions where you've got black and white sort of next to each other. So that's just a brief introduction to the different light views you're going to be using. The visible light, the near UV, the far UV, and the magnetogram. And except for the visible light one, we've artificially cover, colored these images because we don't see ultraviolet light. It's not a color we can use. So these are artificially colored where the brightness lets us know how much of that particular type of light or magnetic field we're seeing. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out to me.